Hi and welcome back to Mountain Aromatics. I'm going to go over some individual materials for probably a good while now. So hopefully you can just look up individual materials that you want information on and you can just watch a short video on the specific thing that you're looking for or want to know more about. So my first one I'm going to do is um, Aldehyde C12 MNA. Um, <laughs> it is so strong. It's one of those that you do not want to open the cap to and smell it. So I, at 100%, so I diluted it down to 25%. And I thought, oh, that'll be fine. No. <laughs> I needed to dilute it down even more um, and so I diluted it down to 12.5 this is still I'm gonna tell you is really strong here's what you can do and what I think might be best dilute it down so this so when you get it at 100% it will last you a very long time because you dilute it down so much. So dilute it down to um, make a 1% vial and make a 10% vial. And so I'm going to take my 12.5 <clears throat> and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to smell it from the test a test strip. So I'll just dip it in and I'm gonna smell it from here. I can smell it and my face is not even near it. Um, it's incredibly strong. What is interesting to me about this is that the, I'm gonna speak, well, I'll just, I'm gonna put all the aldehydes in one category. I'm gonna just speak to this one. This aldehyde is a top note and what this aldehyde does, actually most aldehydes do this, when you put it in a formula, it helps lift everything up and give projection. So, um, when somebody is walking by who has this in a formula on, it, when they've passed by, it's still kind of there. It's trailing behind them. Um, that is my understanding of projection. It makes it go out for others to smell and lifts up and pulls it out with your other aromas that you have in your formula. But what's cool, cr a little crazy is that typically when I have said, oh, it's 400 hours on the test strip, a lot of times those are a base. But this is a top note and it is 308 hours. So just a little bit interesting that it's going to last a really long time. And it's a top note. So I'm going to smell it from here first. I, I get, I kind of get a number of things all at one time. So I get a little bit of floral and a little bit of metal like liquid metal or metal that's cold and wet that's actually a better description it's like cold and wet metal and <clears throat> you know I'm not going to be afraid to use this 12.5. In fact, I have used the 12.5. You can head on over to a couple of my other videos, and I did a formula with this. So if you want to see that with this form, with this the formula, go check it out. Um, the other thing that I get is it smells a little fatty. I don't know how to, else to describe that, but it smells a little fatty here. So this has been kind of on the test strip for a, a minute or so. So there's a, to me, 
a big, and again, this is my opinion and kind of what I get, and you may get something a little bit different, but here, I get a little bit more fatty waxy here and a little bit less metal on here. This is going to go incredibly beautiful with floral, with wood. Yeah, you can go crazy with the florals with this, for sure. Um, it says fruit, tobacco. Um, you, you can use it with um, amber and galbanum. Galbanum is a, a green note. It smells like fresh leaves or green leaves so I want to be specific about that like stems and leaves and galbanum is a resin and it is a fixative um, so that with some wood with some floral with this you got a formula there you go but I don't know smelling this on its own is difficult to get and understand. I think you just need to use it in a formula to sh for you to learn what it does. That is the best way because this is one that's just it's not like lavender where you're like you know exactly what it smells like and what it might go with but this is just that al this aldehyde is just different. So just keep in mind that when you're making your formula, whatever you make, this is going to give it lift and it's going to make it project out. So keep that in mind when you use this, but try it with some of your materials that you have and I think you'll enjoy it. And again, this is aldehyde C12 MNA that you should dilute to, they really do recommend that you smell it at a 1%. And, um, but make some at a 10% and make some at a 1% and use both and see which one you like best. So I hope this is helpful and I will see you on the next video. If you have not um, subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you will. And then if you like this video, just click like. I will see you soon.